Hello, and welcome to a special edition of Get In Tune, the Halloween edition. Um, I'm here at the Spider's Web, located in Yonkers at 887A Yonkers uh, Avenue in Yonkers, New York. So please come on down and uh, check it out. They're having a couple of artists here. So the first one we're going to meet is John Mang Johnny Mangione. Mangini, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Terrible with that stuff. And Johnny is an amazing artist. Let's look at some of his work here. All right. He's a big horror fan. I've known him for a little bit. And uh, I just love looking at his work. I'm going to have to have him come on the show at some point for a, uh, for a full actual interview. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your artwork. Um, well, from Bronx, New York. Uh, local to the area, I live not far from Spiders Web here in Yonkers, mm -hmm. um, and I do mostly horror work. Uh, I do a lot of sketch cards. I've worked on uh, Aliens uh, for Upper Deck, uh, Evil Dead here for Fright Rags, uh, Mystery Science Theater, Marvel Premiere, DC. I've done a lot of a lot of card work. And I really love it. I always love trading cards, so very happy to be working in, uh, in that field. And I love horror, as you can see here. And, uh, Bring it down more I've always, to I've uh, been a horror fan since as far as I can remember. Since I was a, since I was a baby. <laughs> I grew up watching uh, horror movies and uh, just something that I've always loved. You got some beautiful work here. Maybe. So, what's your favorite, uh, do you have a favorite horror movie or horror genre? Uh, my favorite horror movie is Let the Right One In. I don't so know that it's one. It's a Swedish uh, horror movie. Okay. You know, uh, whenever I say that, most people don't know it. So this one you can look up and watch. It's my favorite. Very nice. Um, and today you're giving away free original drawings. Yeah, I've been sitting here working on these uh, black and white uh, ink marker sketches. Okay. Pretty fun uh, gift for anyone stopping by the store for Halloween. That's awesome. I appreciate it because you're allowing me to take two. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take this Darth Vader here. Number one, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I also am picking it up for my nephew who's a big Star Wars fan and is dressed up as Kylo Ren today. Cool. So I'm taking that. But for myself, I'm taking this Spider-Man made based on the 70s series. You want to tell us why you chose to go with the 70s series, Spider-Man? I just, I, I've always loved the costume. Mm -hmm. Uh, the way that the, the suit would fall on his face and the, just the, the whole 70s vibe, like the circle eyes with the black around it. I've just always loved that costume. And that was my first Spider-Man. This was the first one. The one that I grew up watching. And that's like right from the, the series. I mean, like I can see the image in my head, <clears throat> you mm -hmm. know. And that's a beautiful Hellboy. And unfortunately... Today we heard about the passing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was the first one I did today. Was that was the, you drew that. I was going to ask if you yeah, drew that, that one today. Story. It's a beautiful piece, Thanks. and of course, the child there. Out of curiosity, did you watch the first episode of the Mandalorian last no, night? No, not yet. I will say it's. I, I've seen it's spoilers good. everywhere. Really right? good. <laughs> I I made sure to watch it. I got takeout yeah, last night. I'll watch it hopefully before, before the weekend's over. Oh yeah, totally go for it. It was really fun if you like the Mandalorian. So I won't spoil anything, but I'm going to let you go. I want to thank you for these beautiful pieces of art here. Okay. And uh, we'll definitely be in touch to have you on, uh, on a get in tune for a full hour. Awesome. Thank All right. I look forward to it. Thanks right. for uh, doing this today. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. We're going to move over now to one of the scariest comic artists I know. He is his, his work is the most evil, evil of comics. There is nobody scarier in the business of comics that I know than my friend Emilio Woods Jr. and his comic, The Dodgeball Teens. And here is his new book. It's a, it's a graphic novel called World Dodgeball Tor Tournament. And uh, let's uh, have a little chat with Emilio, so 
Oh, there's a ghost right here. Let's move the ghost. <laughs> so, Amelia, tell us a little bit about uh, your your books here. Yes, the Dodgeball Teens is about three teenage siblings who play professional dodgeball, and then they just go on go on advent different adventures. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And you have right over here for seven dollars a piece right. all the books you have currently, which are ten issues. Correct. And your new trade, well, I don't want to call it trade, your new graphic novel is an original story. It has nothing to do with, it's not, none of those books collected. Yeah. Okay. So you want to take us through a little bit of, uh, sure. of your new comic? Yes. Okay. I'm going to flip through some of these, and some of them are, these are actual players. I have drawn over 500 players from around the world. And they asked me to draw them in this book, and I was and I was gladly I would do this because a lot a lot of players from around the world actually bought from me. That's awesome! Yeah. Congratulations thank on you, that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got some from Great Britain. There's about 28 teams around the, from around the world, including wow. the United States, mm -hmm. including Puerto Rico, Canada, Great Britain. Yeah. Uh, uh, and a lot of the other players I go online with. Um, and one of the group pages who asked who asked me to do to do, who asked me to do their um, their, their characters. So, so I got some people from Ireland, got some from Egypt, believe it or not, they're wow. from Egypt, Germany. Mm -hmm. There's actually and believe it or not, there are actual world tournaments going on before before this pandemic actually happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. So let's uh let's just I just want to give people your contact info right here off your card. Yes, it has my name, has my name, my email, my phone number. If you want to call me for my books, I also I'm on social media, on Twitter and, and Instagram at Emilia Fifty One, and I have two Facebook pages. One is a regular page, one is a regular Dodgeball Teens page. The other is a group fan club page. Yes, that is awesome, man. And you have so many things here. But I also got buttons, magnets. Trading cards. trading cards, and I also have famous dodgeball, as I call them, mm -hmm. and it's just your favorite character, cartoon character playing the game of dodgeball. All right, that is awesome. Well, thank you. I just got to, I forgot to get Johnny's contact info to share, so I'm going to go back and do that, but I want to thank you for uh, talking with us. Hey, that's and, no problem. And should we bring over really quick? <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, thank you. So that was, that was Emilio Velez Jr., creator, writer, artist of the Judge Ball team and uh, teen, sorry, and the scariest uh, comic artist I know. <laughs> All right. Let me just come back over to Johnny real quick. Sorry. We're going this way. I forgot to uh, ask you if you have a business card that we can show to where people can find you. I'm all out of business cards. Any anywhere they so can get I'm you. I'm at uh, Instagram at Johnny Mangini, J O N N Y, M A N G I N I. All right. Instagram. Anywhere else you want to uh, throw? I got a Facebook page, uh, Johnny Mangini Art. Okay. Not as active on there as I am on the Instagram, but uh, I post and spelled the same way. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you for uh, coming on and watching, and uh, thanks to. Paul here at the Spider's Web. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. And on Tuesday, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having a special on Monday night with uh, KJ Murphy, who is uh, going to be talking about his new Kickstarter. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Happy Halloween.